So here is the turn coordinator. And what happened was that the bearings, which are stored behind this weighted gyro piece here, looks like it's made out of brass or bronze, um, they had dried out. And in that process, somewhere along the line, the this is a brush set that's wor that's okay. And the other brush, there's two of them. This little fragment of carbon broke off of its container or retainer right here. There's springs that operate these, just to give you an idea how small things are. Here is a penny with a spring and a penny next to the brushes. And then this small piece of carbon sitting on the penny. So you can see things are, things are pretty small and it was difficult uh, trying to glue it. But I did try to glue it. That's what this white stuff is or gray. I tried to glue it back onto this surface over here, but it didn't stick. It was an electrolytic adhesive so it was supposed to conduct electricity which it did but it didn't stick so I had to buy a new brush assembly and that's underneath there and it comes on a non-conductive material this piece right here this was the old and we actually were trying to use it for something and we ground off the little studs and took the springs out but you can see it up in there, and you can see the two brushes. I believe you can. Let me put a little more light on. You can see how they rub up against the commutator down in there. Okay, so that all looked good. Um, it had two other weights. See those steel rings? Now there's only one on here. And that is because the difference in the new brush assembly and the way that it's setting, they were too heavy on this side. And so when it was too heavy on this side, it was causing the needle to sit like this. So I took those two weights off and then balanced it out. Now it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. When you let it go, it pretty much comes back to, to, to level. And in the airplane, that'll be fine. So I had to uh, take off this screw, take off this weight, clean the bearings. They were pretty dry. Basically, just grease them. They were a two-part race with ball bearings between. Reassemble. Install the new brushes that were here underneath this plate and then in the process I accidentally hooked it up wrong and burned up the ground wire so I had to install this blue ground wire much bigger than the wires that are in there you can see how small these are but I don't have wires that small so this was number 22 gauge and with its insulation look how much bigger it is but it's working now and I'm just going to be reassembling oh and then I of course I had to resolder the wires and feed them through for the brushes, and they come out right here, and then just solder them back to the circuit board. Uh, it was quite a job, but it worked well.